This is not a drill. You can donate to Trump's campaign via crypto. This is what the page looks like. I'm going to talk about this and all other stuff happening in the crypto world, including the ETFs coming out from Ethereum. At least it is highly likely that is happening. And that is why the entire crypto market cap has gone up a ton. Ethereum up 31% over the last seven days. So let's start out with Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, there is a weird thing happening right now with crypto. We are seeing Trump being pro-crypto. Not only are you able to donate to his campaign via crypto, what happens is it brings you right to Coinbase, which I think is pretty interesting. Coinbase being a Silicon Valley company, usually historically they run more Democrat, but obviously Coinbase is a crypto company, and Gensler and Senator Warren, Elizabeth Warren, they have been a little bit anti-crypto and definitely anti-keeping crypto companies in the U.S. So here we have it, basically. You can use your Coinbase wallet, MetaMask, connect another account or another wallet. Definitely don't get fished. You definitely want to go, if you, if you want to do this, make sure you go to the right website. But I think it's pretty interesting, and that leads me to what's happening with the Ethereum ETFs. We have at least five of the potential Ethereum ETF issuers that have submitted their amended 19B-4s in the last 25 minutes. Could this be a Gensler slash Biden reaction to Trump being pro-crypto? They realize that crypto is a big selling point for a lot of millennials and a lot of people even in their 20s and teens. Now, what's really interesting is this whole idea of is Ethereum a security? Now, I don't believe it is. I think it's going to be traded as a commodity. We have several of the ETFs, including Franklin, Fidelity. We have Invesco, Galaxy, ARK21 shares, and VanEck. They are proposing to list and trade shares of their Ethereum ETF under this rule right here, which I'm not going to read out loud. But this is for commodity-based trust shares. The CFTC has recognized Bitcoin as a commodity since 2015, and it certainly looks like Ethereum will also be in the same category as a commodity and not a security. That is literally how they are preparing to list and trade their ETF. And there are experts saying that if spot Ether ETFs are approved, this can lead to inflows of about $15 billion to $45 billion in the first 12 months. We saw what happened with the Bitcoin ETF earlier this year. The price went up a ton since then. And right now, Ethereum is well below its all-time high. Just giving you a historical perspective here, the all-time high for Ethereum is $4,800. We are 22% below the all-time high. Whereas for Bitcoin, we are pretty close to the all-time high. We are sitting right under 5% from the all-time high. So a lot of people became very excited about the prospect of an Ethereum ETF. Literally right here, in a matter of hours, the price jumped from $3,100 to a high of around $3,600, $3,700, even as high as $3,800. And heading back to Trump, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but we know that Trump holds crypto. He holds his own coin, apparently $4.48 million worth, and he's publicly said live on camera that he supports crypto. Now, whether this is pandering and this is great marketing, I don't know. It's hard to know exactly why people do what they do, but it seems like the Democrats realize that they need to maybe lighten their tone on crypto. But then again, somebody shared this. I don't know if this is true or not, but... Biden sent a text saying, folks, this couldn't be any more serious. Crypto executives and oil barons, I like that they're putting those two together, are coming out of the woodwork for Trump. They're rushing $800,000 checks at glitzy events. Biden is basically like, hey, I need more money. I need your support. But it's also important to remember why we are in crypto. It's for the tech, right? It's for the world-changing, life-changing, helping people tech, including... Pepe, which is ranked number 25, up 30% over the last day. And then we have Floki, life-changing technology. The world would be a horrible place without it, personally. I can't imagine a world without Floki. It's up 13% over the last 24 hours. Obviously, I'm kidding. 99% of you watching want the price to go up. You want to make money. And 
There are some people that certainly believe in the technology and the life-changing attributes of Bitcoin. Totally not downplaying that at all. I do. I certainly believe in that as well. And I want to make money. So let's finish off the video going over a couple charts. This is going to be the Bitcoin logarithmic regression bands. We are just chilling right in the middle of these bands. Really nothing to report here. We are definitely not approaching bubble territory at all. If we were, the price of Bitcoin would be touching or getting close to $190,000. Let's take a look at Bitcoin year to date ROI. 2024, Bitcoin has done around a 1.5, 1.6x. The last year of the halving, Bitcoin did a 4x. And let's take a look at Ethereum. So let's go to 2024 this year. Ethereum right now is sitting at around a 1.6x for the year. Four years ago, 2020, look at that. Ethereum did over a 5.6x. And taking a look at 2021, which would essentially be next year, Ethereum did another 5x for next year. So if this year and next year correlate to 2020 and 2021, Ethereum and a lot of the altcoins for that matter are gonna do really, really well. Just to show you what I mean, this is total market cap. So for 2024, the total market cap went up around a 1.5x. 2020, the total market cap went up around a 4x. And then 2021, which would be essentially next year, 2025, the total market cap went up an additional 2.8x. So all that to say, if history repeats or even kind of sort of maybe rhymes with what happened four years ago in the last halving cycle, there's still a lot of room to grow for the entire crypto market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all coins. So guys, that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.